from the Lost Media Chronicles, the show which has been discussing various lost movies, music, art, you name it, for the past 50 episodes. Trey, come here. Sit down. Sit down. What's up, buddy? Okay, so, you've been my video editor for a good two years now, right? Off and on, yes. I'd say that you're pretty good at doing what you do and, and helping helping me out. Well, you know. thank you. I do my best. So maybe maybe you can explain to me one thing. Sure. What the fuck was that? Well, that was your 50th episode title card. That's what we're on, right? 50 episodes of uh, Last Media Chronicles. I don't pay you to make shit look that terrible, bro. Terrible? And wait a minute. Pay? Oh, you don't pay me at all, man. Yes, I do. I leave you a bag of peanuts every single time you do something like this for me. What do you think I am, an elephant? Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, I guess it's about time I got to this milestone, right? I've been doing this series for two years now. I know a lot of other YouTubers would have reached this milestone sooner, but I juggle this with a full-time job and my channel hosts a whopping three shows. Though my subscriber count remains small, and I want to do this for a living, I do enjoy doing what I do. So you might be asking, what am I doing for my 50th episode topic? Well, it just so happens to be the most requested topic I have ever had, and it's also probably one of the most popular and most famous cases of lost media. This is the story of the lost Doctor Who episodes. Now two disclaimers. One, I'm sorry this took so long to get to you. The research for this episode was a chore. Take a look at the Wikipedia page for this topic. That's insane. I wanted to make sure I did this topic justice. And every time I was about to tackle it, I decided it made more sense for me to try to do something a little bit easier. Second, I'm not a Whovian. I know Doctor Who has a huge fan base. I'm doing this episode from the perspective of someone who has never really watched the series. But I've done my research and I made sure I've been respectful of the fan base. Doctor Who is one of those famous television shows which, alongside The Outer Limits, Star Trek, and The Twilight Zone, helped revolutionize sci-fi television. It follows the adventures of The Doctor, who is a renegade Time Lord who fights off various evil forces, along with his sidekicks which are called his companions, which are usually female. He travels in a large sentient machine, often disguised as a phone booth called the Time and Dimension in Space, or TARDIS. The show discusses, at great length, its complex themes of time travel and time theories. Another notable thing about the show are the various people that have played the title role. The idea is that every now and then, the Doctor would get killed off and then would regenerate as another actor. This not only allowed for new interpretations of the character, including the most recent female variants, but it also allowed actors that got bored with the role to move on to other prospects and career opportunities. The series is also a long runner, being well over 50 years old. The original version of the show lasted from 1963 to 1989, when executive meddling caused the show to come to an abrupt cancellation. It was rebooted in 2004 with a new look and style. The show's method of storytelling was also unconventional. Unlike other shows that had standalone stories that lasts a single episode, or stories that span an entire series, Doctor Who was split up into serials. Each individual storyline had a set of episodes that would allow for it to be told more effectively, and also without having to worry about trying to connect an overarching storyline to an entire series. That being said, it should be kept in mind that these serials were contained in the same expanded fictional universe. Now, Doctor Who has a long list of missing episodes, a grand total of 97 as of the making of this video to be exact. And at one point, there were probably as many as 200 missing. So what exactly happens? Well, with every piece of new media comes the frequent lack of foresight to archive it. Early film had film stock that would be repurposed or recycled. Early internet had sites that were shut down and were never saved. Early television was no exception to this rule. Now, BBC, as well as several other television companies at the time, as a matter of fact, most of them were doing this, were wiping their tapes to make room for more television broadcasts. 
Television tape stock took up space, and the concept of rerunning old television shows wouldn't be executed for years, as it was seen as impractical at the time. Doctor Who is not unique, as many other shows such as Dad's Army were affected as well. To the frustration of fans, Doctor Who has many incomplete serials. The series was mostly affected during its first six years, with its first, fourth, and fifth season being the heaviest hits, featuring the first two Doctors, William Hartnell and Patrick Troughton. These episodes include the Doctor's first regeneration, the introduction of key characters, and the first use of the sonic screwdriver. In addition are two Holy Grail episodes that are likely lost forever, as they were never sold abroad. To add insult to injury, there were some episodes that had alternative versions filmed for them, as well as some episodes that were combined into a single episode, with remaining footage discarded. Now, you might be asking, have there been any efforts to help uncover these episodes? First off, some episodes were recovered from broadcasts with other countries, with both Australia and Nigeria being the biggest sources of these found episodes. There have also been instances where people have recovered copies in odd places, such as the time Bruce Campbell found some episodes in the collection of a convention goer. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that the audio in the scripts for every single episode still survive. In some cases, the original audio track was recovered, but guess the biggest contribution to the surviving audio? That's right, the fans. Doctor Who's devoted fan base had recorded the audio for various reasons. This audio has paved way for reconstructions of episodes. In some cases, they would be reconstructed using stills or telesnaps. What's really interesting is that some episodes were reconstructed using animation. These reconstructions were rebroadcasted by the BBC and then later released on DVD and VHS, and are even readily available on YouTube. Now I know a lot of you were hoping that this episode was going to be a lot more comprehensive, as there are a lot of instances where episodes have been found. However, if I were to cover every single time, we'd be here for well over 30 minutes. Not to mention, a lot of these stories are just similar. They found them lying around in some sort of archive. That whole Bruce Campbell thing is probably about as interesting as it gets. But trust me, this isn't the end as far as missing material for Doctor Who. The third Doctor, John Pertwee, was also affected by tape wipings. But luckily, Australia had saved a good chunk of these. These episodes came in black and white, but modern colorization processes helped clear that out. Other copies for additional episodes were found in their NTSC versions that the US sent to Canada. Tom Baker was the last affected Doctor by the tape wipings, but by the time he came around, Doctor Who was wildly popular. Interestingly, there were some music scores from the Baker episodes that were thrown away, as well as controversial deleted scenes that wouldn't be seen again for decades. Aside from that, there isn't much else to say about lost Doctor Who material. Now why is Doctor Who considered so special? It even gets to the point where people think it gets more attention than other shows with similarly missing libraries. The reason is simple, Doctor Who helped change the face of television. The 60s were a growth spurt for television as a medium. It proved it could tell compelling stories and could be taken seriously by audiences and critics. Though it should be kept in mind that Doctor Who didn't do this alone, as there were other shows pushing the limits of television at the time. The biggest contribution that Doctor Who made to popular culture, though, was its impact on the science fiction genre. Now, it's not like there were people out there that weren't taking science fiction seriously before, but Doctor Who, Star Trek, and even The Twilight Zone helped expand on its popularity. Without Doctor Who, it's hard to see how Star Wars, Babylon 5, and even Firefly would ever exist. This is why people want this show found. Impact speaks volumes towards how much attention something gets. Now, before I close this out, I have a bit of a statement to make. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I'm getting a little burnt out on the Lost Media Chronicles. I know that's what a huge chunk of you people subscribe for on this channel. I have had fun making these videos, but my ambitions and current interests have been pushing me more towards my music reviews. I've been working on this show now for two years. Please don't take this the wrong way. I'm not ending the series, but I do feel like a break is in order. 
I want this show to be good. I don't want to come across as disinterested or disconnected. So this is going to be the last Lost Media Chronicles featuring me until 2018. I'm thinking of letting other people take a whack at it. Some fresh faces to keep the show's touch and passion going. If you haven't already, please check out my other shows. 2 Beats Plus is making a comeback with a new co-host, and Adventures in Finaland is going to be the big focus for the next four months. I have a long list of albums I've been wanting to cover before the end of the year, and I feel like Lost Media Chronicles keeps me from being able to work on these. I ask you to have faith in me. I know YouTubers break their word pretty often, but I promise this series will be back. I'm going on hiatus so that way I don't ever have to end this series. But seriously guys, I am grateful for every single subscriber that I have on here. And I do thank you sincerely for watching. And whether you're old or new, please do check out other episodes of The Chronicles, not just my other shows, even though I'm kind of trying to pour them off a bit, so to speak. So, I guess I will see you guys next time. Or will I? It will probably be somebody else sitting in this seat. Maybe a different gender. Because we all know how that worked out for the Doctor Who franchise. See you later.